Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. Hello, this spread is for all air signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. Uh, we've got the Knight of Cups, the Nine of uh, Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We've got lots of cups here. The Knight of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. And besides that, we have two Nines, so it could be significant to some of you. So I think that is you in the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this is a card of uh, someone who is uh, self-sufficient, independent, someone who projects uh, self-confidence. You could be an eye candy for people surrounding you. Basically, this card is um, someone who everybody wants to be around or someone whom uh, everybody wants to be with. <laughs> and uh, one of them... One of the people will be brave enough to uh, make you an offer. <laughs> That's what I see in the Knight of Cups. And uh, this is a very uh, emotional uh, and uh, mature offer. This is not on the page level. Uh, if I see a page, then that makes me think that somebody is just, you know, testing the waters with you. Or it could be an apology. But the Knight of Cups, this is um, a level up from that. This is someone who uh, probably thought about it. Someone who... Uh, perhaps, like I said, gather it, their strength to come forward with this offer, and here they come with this very uh, emotional, but at the same time, mature uh, love offer. You could be meeting this person at a party. That's what I think the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups could be symbolizing. So there could be refreshments at the party. It could be some kind of a family gathering or just an event you could be going to, um, if that is at all possible with uh, everything going on in the world or this card the three of cups is a card of a union or a reunion because it could be an ex even though I don't see any cards uh, suggesting it could be an ex but you never know the main idea here is that um, someone sees you as uh, very desirable and they're coming forward with this offer and uh, it will make you really happy it will be a wish fulfillment for you perhaps you've been waiting or hoping to uh, receive this offer from this person and here they come so it looks really good have a great time and uh, expect this person to come forward with this really good and emotional offer Gemini we've got the magician the king of cups the will of fortune and the knight of swords on the bottom of the deck uh, you could be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces or an air sign, a fellow Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is an interesting spread. Um, it could play out in two different ways. Um, scenario one, if you are the king of cups right here, because this spread is about you, right, Gemini? Um, so male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the king of cups uh, usually represents someone who is, um, you know, emotionally mature, someone who is in control of his or her emotions but at the same time they're very loving so they express their love on the, on a mature level as I was uh, saying a few seconds ago so um, and I think everything is surrounding you all other cards because you are going to be in the center of this uh, reading you're the center of attention here and uh, you have somebody coming in rushing in um, that's what I see in the Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to let you know or some, someone wants to give you some news or tell you something. It could be another air sign who is coming forward uh, with this uh, news or information or whatever they have to tell you. But it could be just the energy of the person who is in a hurry to tell you something. And I think uh, the Magician card is here is also symbolizing that same person. So this person has either been manifesting you in their life or they've been trying to make something happen either with you or about you and that's them coming in and they're gonna let you know and whatever it is that uh, you become aware of over the weekend it'll start a new cycle in your life uh, we've got the Wheel of Fortune this is all about starting new cycles or you could be going on a trip 
or it could be the card of them traveling towards you. So whatever it is, um, I don't see any negative uh, outcomes here. So I think you will only benefit from either appearance of this person or the information they want to tell you. Um, scenario number two is the uh, King of Cups is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, it could be you in the Knight of Swords um, coming forward with whatever it is you want to tell them. Um, basically, the idea is the same as scenario number one, except that this is you manifesting this person in your life, into your life. You are doing something about it. You are coming forward with something, and that's you wanting to start this cycle with this person. Um, so take it as resonates, um, but again, I don't see any negative outcomes. The Wheel of Fortune is always a good card to have in your own reading. Uh, it usually spins in your favor unless other cards suggest otherwise, and I do not see any negative outcome here. So this is going to be a pretty good uh, weekend, Gemini. Enjoy. Libra. We've got the Magician, the Six of Wands, the Moon, clarified by the Page of Cups, and we have Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces. So I think you will be dealing with uh, somebody you already know. It could be an ex, or it could be someone whom uh, you had some kind of a fallout with. Perhaps uh, the two of you tried to uh, start a relationship, but it didn't work out, and... Uh, now this person wants to give it another shot. So the magician with the six of wands, that's them manifesting you into uh, their life. They want to start this uh, relationship with you or they want to pr propose to you. Because <laughs> the six of wands back in the day was called the uh, uh, proposal card and they're very stressed out about this whole thing. They are afraid that you will either reject them or you will get into a fight with them and just tell them no or you'll just laugh at them. You know, things like that. They're very afraid that you will um, not be able to accommodate <laughs> their wishes to uh, be with you. That's what I think the, uh, the, uh, the Moon card is here for. Clarified by the Page of Cups. That's them being stressed out. Or the Moon could be a Pisces you're dealing with. But I think that still uh, doesn't change the fact that there either has been a fallout or a fight between the two of you. Or they're just afraid that that's how it's going to end. So uh, I think the ball will be in your court, Libra. Um, hopefully... Um, you can give this person the answer they want, but it'll be up to you. Aquarius, we've got the Two of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the Two of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and we have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces. So the Moon is the personal Pisces card, but I think this is uh, either you or the other person's feelings. Uh, the Moon in this case is uncertainty. Uh, some kind of fear, maybe illusion, but this is just someone who is um, kind of uh, not sure about something and they're sort of, you know, walking around uh, thinking, should I do it, should I not do it, or, or what should I do in this case. And uh, I think that person is thinking about taking action towards you. Um, and that's them and the Two of Swords. They are at the crossroads right now, and that's why they're feeling the way I just described a few seconds ago. And uh, they're trying to see if uh, it's going to be received well. Let, yeah, let's just put it that way. They're thinking about uh, letting you know that uh, they are in love with you, or they have feelings for you, or they want to express something to you, most likely their love, <laughs> as I said, they're probably in love with you. And uh, if uh, you were to receive uh, the message and to accept their love, that'll be a uh, wish fulfillment for you. Keep in mind it could be vice versa, because um, here comes the Two of Cups and it's in the middle, right there. Uh, this is a card of uh, soulmate, unconditional love. For me personally, the Two of Cups is uh, when two people are on the same page and feelings are mutual. So since this card is in the middle, for me personally, then it could be, you know, 
coming from either you or them. But uh, the Two of Cups, like I said, the feelings are mutual. So whoever wants to come forward and let the other person know is really stressed out about it because they're not sure if uh, the feelings are mutual. But I have a suspicion that they are. <laughs> We've got the Eight of Wands here. This card is the fastest card in the deck, but uh, it could be about it could be all about communication. And this in this case, it's all about communication about love. Somebody wants to let the other person know. Some people call the Eight of Wands the Cupid's Heiress card, right? So, um, so if you are the one Aquarius thinking about letting the other person know how you feel towards them, just go ahead. I think the outcome will be in your favor. And uh, if you're cross watching for Aquarius, uh, do the same. All right. Um, so yeah, the, the Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. It really is. Um, so don't be afraid, go ahead and let the other person know. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.